Good afternoon, everyone. If you can hear me, please, you can actually say hi in the comment section. We are live. Welcome, Coach Funke. It's so good to see you this evening. Afternoon. Apologies, please. We are live. Good afternoon. I'm super excited. Good afternoon, ma. How are you doing, ma? I'm peaceful and fine. I can't hear you clearly. I'm cool. I'm fine. Oh, so good to hear that. Thank you so much for honoring this invitation. I'm so grateful. And we are glad that you are here. So we'll be starting right away and we'll be expecting some of our sisters to join us. So I'll be reading Coach Funke's profile at first. And today we'll be talking about navigating from stress to strength. How do we do that? So we we'll love other people to, to join in this conversation. You can actually join in this conversation. You can ask questions. You can share life experience, personal experiences with us as well. So we won't be doing this alone, but we'll love you to join this conversation with us. So right now, we'll be reading Coach Funke's profile. I'm trying to download it. Okay. Olufunke is a trained... Olufunke is a trained... Sorry, please. Olufunke is a trained env environmental management specialist and a reinvention coach. She's passionate about bringing women into the reality and full expression of their goals, giving destiny by, uh, by opening them up and leading them on the pathway of self-discovery and self-rediscovery through her teachings and mentorship programs. She helps women move beyond the crippling effects of painful experiences, significant stress, emotional crisis, heartbreak, and disappointment, thereby integrating them on the threshold of giving expression of relevance to the award. She's the author of a book titled Pains to Pearls, Activating your spiritual and emotional wholeness. This book provides a radical paradigm shift towards navigating through pains into wholeness. She's also the author of the book titled Wanted, Revival Laborers. The book, carrier, the book carries remarkable testimonies of how several people have been ignited with a fire and passion for revival across the nations of the world. Olufunke is the lead coach at Ruby Sprout, an organization created for incubating emerging professionals and betting kingdom women with a well-engineered lifestyle curriculum to upscale into greater level in destiny, purpose, impact, influence, and relevance. She's happily married and blessed with two kids. So this afternoon, we have with us our amazing and phenomenal coach, Funke. So I'm so excited to have you this afternoon. I'll be starting right away. So, so how do you feel this afternoon that we are on the live together, Instagram live together? I'm so sure that many people will benefit from this message. Are you hearing me? Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. I didn't hear the last word that you said. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm double sure that so many people will benefit from this conversation. So many people will what? Benefit from today's conversation. Yes, mama. <laughs> I trust God for that. So we we'll dive in right away. The topic we are going to be discussing this afternoon is navigating from stress to strength. So we have um, two key words, three key words rather. We have navigating. How do we navigate? Then we have stress. What stress? Then we have strength. So these are the three key words that we need to know this afternoon. And how do we do that as women, as ladies? How do we? Because we, there are so many. There, are, there are a lot of things we go through daily. As in, these are these are just the reality. We stress is some that is even part of our daily 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 activities in Nigeria. So how do we do this as women? So th those are the things that we'll be talking about today. So the first question we'll be talking about is, what is stress? What is stress? What do we understand by stress? Thank you so much. 
Stress is a common word. Every everybody, you know, always talk about stress, even when they don't really understand the nitty gritty of the word. They always say, ah, "I'm stressed out. This thing is causing me stress. This thing is, I'm getting stressed out with what is happening or what I'm doing." But in my own understanding and in my own research work, stress is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. When they, when you begin to experience tension in your emotions. When you begin to express this ability within you or physically around you, that can be called stress. And this can be as a result of when you are into a, a, a deep, when the demand is placed on your energy. Or maybe you are asked to, to deliver a, a task that is making you to get frustrated, making you to get anxious, or making you to get angry. Okay. Also, stress yes. can be Stress can be a body's reaction to a challenge, to a demand at work or a demand at home. For instance, if, as, a mother, as a woman, maybe you have kids, like maybe two, three kids with you, and you're a, a working woman, you're not staying at home, you go to work, come at the and you have to take care of your husband, you have to take care of your children, you have to deliver every result in your place of work. That can bring about stress to your, to your physical body. So if you are experiencing body reaction as a result of what you are doing, it can cause stress. Also, it's a state of mental overwhelm. When you are feeling choked up, when you are feeling coerced, I mean, you are, you are feeling transfixed. You cannot really express yourself. You are not really getting the liberty, freedom that you desire. It can, it can be termed as a state of stress, a mental overwhelm in which your energy, the energy you spend, the energy you release into a situation, which eventually does not commensurate to your overall aspect. For instance, maybe you spend like, uh, how will I, I don't want to go into science talking about calories, but let me just say, when you put so much energy into something, and at the end of the day, the result you get does not equal to the energy you release into that challenge, into that situation, into that assignment, into that event. Thank you so much. I hear so many things when you were saying about, so when you have so much, so much demand, things that is even beyond you, you are doing so many things at the same time as a woman, probably you are working um, 6 a.m., you leave your home by 6 a.m. and you are coming back 11 p.m. and you still have to cook for your children, do so many things, or you are even a single lady and you still work, you, see, you do so many things at your workplace and you get back up to still help your parents. It can be stressful, like she has said. So now we we'll move to the next, and all these things, we need to do them. All these things that she has mentioned, we need to work. Because they are do, because no food for lazy man. Even the Bible says, um, an idle man, um, uh, is it an idle man that cannot provide for his home is worse than an infidel. So even as women, you can't be idle. So all these things, we must do them. Now, to the, this now leads me to the next question. Is it all stress that is bad that we need to look into? Because there are some stress that ah, the person needs to go and rest at, at the hospital, needs bed rest. But there are some stress that they are just the normal thing. So is it that for me, oh, that's the way I'm thinking, oh, but now that we have a coach that is helping with stress, people that are stressed and all that, what do you think about this word? Is, it, is, it the, is the word a bad stuff? If you are stressful, is it, is it showing that it's a danger sign or you need to check yourself and all that? So, Ma, is it all stress that is bad? It is all stress that is bad. You have asked two questions in one. The first question is, okay, is it all stress? Then the second question is, when you mention the word stress, does it connote a negative impact or a positive impact? Yes, uh, ma'am. The first question, not all stress is bad. Some stress are definitely needed. Even the Bible says, Jesus was talking in, a, in the Bible, he says, I must walk the walk of it who calls me white for the night comet when no man will walk again. I speak in KJV now. <laughs> so there are some things <laughs> that are in life that you have to put in the work, you have to put in energy, 
that is needed for that season. So if it is weighing you down, if it's having a negative impact on you, all that is needed is a way to navigate around it. It's a way to undo the stress, not to see it as a negative thing. Okay? So it's not all stress that is, that is bad. Stress can be positive, such as it helps us to avoid danger. For instance, if you are driving on a highway and all of a sudden somebody just cross at your front and you have to mark the brake, I mean, or to navigate or to avoid danger in that, in that situation, it is stress because it's going to cause you an emotional stress. Maybe you get, you know, you become tensed, you maybe you get angry, but that's that type of stress is not a negative stress. For instance, let me go a bit to um, science. When, when a stressful event occurs, our brain generates what is called hormones. Okay? So it is that hormones that mm -hmm. alert our brain that the situation around us demands a higher energy to be released to be able to address that situation. So when that hormone is released, we realize that we have, we have the strength, we have the capacity to salvage that event at that time, okay? So in a situation where you try to salvage an event, you need to meet up with a deadline, you need to be able to grow up to a better version of yourself, to be able to impact your world better, to be able to influence the people around you positively, that is not a negative stress, okay? We have two types of stress. We have the acute stress, and we have the chronic stress. Acute stress is a short-term stress. It just comes, and immediately that event is, is, is managed, you get relief from it. And most times, acute stress helps us to manage dangerous, dangerous situations. Acute stress helps us to do things. For instance, when you are doing new things, when you are navigating new paths, maybe you are appointed, you are given a, a senior appointment, a senior position appointment in your place of work, and you've not, you know, you have not occupied that position before, you can get a bit tense of it can be a bit guilty and say, hey, how will I be able to deliver? What you deliver? So the ability for you to, to bring up to bring up your superpower, to bring up to bring up the, the, the stocks you are made up of and to release it in a positive way can bring about stress, but that kind of stress is not a negative stress, a positive stress in which uh, is a positive stress in which is bringing about a good a good result. For chronic stress is a stress that is long term. Now, you know, the, the other time I mentioned the word hormones, when a stress event occurs. So in a chronic type of stress, when, when the hormone is secreted and our brain gets alerted, the brain will not relapse back to the normal degree of operation. That means that sense of alertness will remain there. And when that sense of alertness remains there, it can lead to some health issues such as hypertension, such as diabetes, such as um, sleeplessness, okay? And situation that That's leads to situation that leads to chronic stress, uh, you know, when, when there is um, trouble at place of work, as in a, a very toxic environment, uh, not that you are to live right now, that environment is toxic, it's not pleasant at all. Such events can lead to chronic stress. When somebody is experiencing an unhappy marriage, unhappy marriage, when or maybe it's being controlled, uh, when well, let not go, let not go be let me not jump tired of yourself. So I hope I'm doing that. It's not all stress. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for that. So stress can actually be positive, not only negative. And these are things that we go through daily. Thank you so much for that. Now this leads us to the next question that you were trying to go into. Factors that generate stress. What are the factors that actually generate this stress? What are the things that trigger this stress that we are talking about? A lot of I can't hear you. Okay. A lot of trigger stress. But before I begin to mention them one by one, I must I want to say some things. You know, when you feel your life things that does not align or that are not in anim in animals to your value, to your vision, or how you are even wired by God, stress will be generated. You see, when you want to follow the social social media freak. When you want to be like them, when you want to feel amount, when you want to impress people, okay? When you want to do cop when you want to live a copy and paste life, when you're not really when you're not living your life with the originality of how you are innately wired, 
hope my grandma is is, is allowed. <laughs> it is allowed. <laughs> fake when life. You, when you are living fake life, stress cannot be asked. Okay. Also, it's not all. It's not about activities. Doing activities that means, but it's about following in the direction of your goals and what truly nourishes you. So, for us to to be able to avoid stress, we must not look at the things. We must first of all go to the core. Okay, most times we look at the symptoms, but we, we don't look at the causative organism. Oh, I'm going to say it. Okay, let me do one. <laughs> we are not looking at the stressor. What is this thing that is causing this thing that is causing that is making me? It's not about the things. It's about the the the, the, the foundation, the cost, the causative structure. So when we when someone is not living a life. According to how you are in a pure wire, how you can function well, how God all according to the demand of God in your life as season. But when you are jumping ahead of the program of God in your life, then stress cannot be happening. So now I, I want to go to things that, that bring about stress. Number one yes. thing of very very predominant in toxic relationships. Toxic relationships. When you follow after people, when you relate with people. That does not celebrate you, people that does not ban, people that does not see good in you, people that does not, you know, see the greatness of God in you, even though you may not be manifesting it at home, but cannot see into your future and call forth the you that is in you to bring about the you that is expected to manifest. Now, let me break it down. You know, there are some people that when they look at you, they'll be like, nothing good can come out of this one. And, you know, they begin to put so much pressure on you for you to be able deliver which which can lead to a you know which can bring about stress but when you work with people that celebrate you that celebrate your small wins yeah let me put that way yeah. people that celebrate your small wins yeah when you move them stress can be avoided so when you when you are in a toxic relationship it's because it can induce stress then toxic workplace toxic workplace where maybe your boss is is bully your boss you know you not tolerant always shouting at you Cannot you know, accommodate you, you see, such can generate stress. Also, when you cannot transition from work mood to a more relaxed mood, when you cannot trans transition from work mood to a relaxed mood, that leads to stress. For instance, maybe the stress, maybe in your workplace, you always have um, a lot of schedule on you that places so much demand on your strength and on your energy. And you know, you function excellently well. Your at, at, the, at work, but now when you get home, you have to relax. You have to allow the atmosphere of the home to enter. You relax, play with your husband, play with your with your kids, and if you are single, just relax. Be yourself. You just relax. So if you cannot transition from a work mood to a relaxed mood, definitely stress is not in at all. Another thing that can generate stress is replaying past events and conversations in your mind. If there is such a person that you hold tenaciously to what people say, maybe somebody snapped at you, somebody shouted at you, somebody made a negative remark at you, or somebody said something negative about you, and you cannot just discard that from your subconscious mind. It's, it always resonates in your mind, in your heart, in your brain, and that's what you're just carrying on around. My dear, stress is not natural. Another thing is being stuck dealing in transportation. I think this is applicable to those of us in Lagos. If you are such a person that leave your house, six a.m. in the morning, come back in the night, and maybe you say you spend a greater part of the of the journey stuck in traffic or go traffic. go and stay. stress is nothing. Stress is unavoidable. Also, when you live with controlled parents, controlled spouse, when they do not allow you to, to express yourself, be yourself, and you know function at your level of delivery without being you know forced to do things. That at time your energy level is not able to release, it can lead to stress. Also, purposelessness can lead to stress. When you lack clarity on what to focus on per season, when you are just uh, dark of all trades, you do, you, they advertise this one to you, you stop. They advertise this one to you, you stop. You are on, all, you are on like 1 million platforms on the WhatsApp, you are there on the Instagram. You are just. <laughs> 
see if I need to stretch because those platforms that you are joining necessity will be demanded for you from you to you know to show up and to partake or participate in what they are doing. Okay. So when you when you do when you do not have a clarity of what is expected of you as season, you can generate stress. Also, when you switch from doing things at the same time, which without actually focusing on do, on the demand it places on you, when you switch from doing too many things, I think it's, it's also the same thing with what I explained earlier. When you switch over doing multiple things at the same time, without putting into consideration the impact it's having on you. Yeah? Maybe, for instance, you've had a long week at work, your house choice, is there. you don't have house assistant, or you don't have maid, and you know that you don't have house maid. Somebody is doing no one day. I say, ah, oh, and because the GA, if you are not here, it's not all. <laughs> long Monday to Friday, your house is messed up. There's no food in the freezer. Your kids' assignments are not well, you know, not done it. And no one day is not here. I said that that one day. We are just doing things without considering the demands it's placing on you for time and generate stress. Also, when you carry a lot of baggage from your past, you know, maybe you have uh, had a rough past, you have experienced so many things, and you're still stuck in those strategies, those pains. You are still, you know, thinking about it, getting stuck in it, and the rest of it, and the next thing has to be, okay? Also, inability to move from a place of worry to a place of solutions. You know, definitely life will happen. There are times when we experience things that, you know, that we do not really prepare for, and, you know, we have to sit down, to strategize, Calculate, you know, we navigate, you know, we need to be, will I mention again now, you know, readjust, okay? So when life happens, when situation confronts you, inability to be able to move from a place of worry from a, to a place of solution. If you get stuck in situation, you easily get overwhelmed in situation, and you cannot think about how can I move from this situation into a solution. Also, a broken sense of definitely a broken sense of identity will lead to stress. When you don't fit yourself, when you always want to please everybody so that you can be accepted, so that they can see you as, okay, this one too is in vogue, this one knows what is A broken sense of identity will lead to stress. And last, the procrastinate. If you're a firefighter, you procrastinate. You do things at die minute. Definitely stress with your Stress. stress. Okay, so I think I've mentioned like 10 yeah. What are the things? Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much for those points and explanation. That was so good. If you are here, you can actually type it out that, okay, what you, what was so profound to you as in, what, you, what can you actually relate to, to what she has spoken about? For me, it is our stress sometimes. We want to finish all the work. Or probably the demands of life. How do you do that? Then some of us, sometimes we hold on to the past like she has mentioned, holding on to baggages that we should have dropped. Some people, is, can, some people can actually be on forgiveness too. Not forgiving somebody can actually be very, very stressful. It can be your spouse. Your spouse has done something to you and you're just holding it to heart and you're just carrying the grudges all about. It can be very stressful because so many people don't know about this. So I heard her say so many things. She said, when we are not even living according to God's will, what God has not called you to do, you are doing it. It can be very, very stressful. You are living another person's life, living fake life just because of social media. It can be very, very stressful for us as females. So now we'll be moving to the last question. If you want to contribute, you can actually do that in the comment section if you are here. So we'd love to read from you too. So the last question for this conversation is how can we navigate stress to strength? All these things, because they are things that we experience daily. So how do we do it? How do we navigate from stress to strength? Now, before I answer that question, I want to ask a question and I will at the same time answer it. Before I go to the point, there's these things we can do to navigate from stress to strength. I want to ask, what does it mean? to navigate from strength to strength. Before we talk about things that we need to do, the, the, the process, what it takes to navigate from strength to strength, we need to talk about what does it mean to navigate from stress to strength. Number one, it is, the, it is navigating from strength, from stress to stress is the capacity 
to tackle bigger challenges and overcome more obstacles. So that means that yeah. if you are navigating from stress to strength, that does not mean there will be absence of challenges. That does not mean mm. that if I say I'm living a stress-free life, I'm living a stress-free life, that does not say there are no issues. Issues with day and the day plenty. So, <laughs> the and the capacity to tackle those bigger challenges and overcome those obstacles. That is what it means to navigate from strength to strength. Also, the ability to deal effectively with challenges and strength. Ability to deal effectively with challenges and strength. So without getting broken, without getting stuck in it. So there, are some, there are some people when they are passing through situation, you will see it all around them. You will see it yeah. all around them. You get so disorganized, you get so tattered. Yeah, you know, their their parents will be, you know, their head their look will be so bad that even without asking, you will know that no, this person, this person is not a son. If you are, you know, the Bible says you will feel in the day of trouble, your strength is small. That means that trouble comes. So your ability not to fail, I mean your ability not to faint. In the day of trouble, is the process of navigating from stress to strength. Also, it is the ability to build resilience, to bounce back quickly from an unpleasant situation. Ability to bring to build resilience. Ability to foster the courage that says no. I I will not remain in this situation. I I will not be followed by this situation. I'm bouncing back. I can conquer. I can reign. You know, I'm God's wise. I am God's propelled female. See, I am a good top forward. The ability for you to, you know, to get yourself summed up with courage and to bounce back with is navigating from stress to stress. And lastly, it is the ability and the important and make the best out of it. Situations will come that will be stressful. So the ability to handle it and the ability to make the best out of it is navigating from stress. Street. Now, to the question How do we manage? I mean, forgive me, I forgot to question. How do we navigate? Stress, strength. Now, okay, primarily, know your strength. I'm going back to what I said about your core, the foundation. If I say sleep 10 hours in a day, although sleeping 10 hours in a day is not I'm not so that. Don't sleep 10 hours in a day. If you want to become an influencer and impact your generation, don't sleep 10 hours in place too much. So before I begin to say sleep 10 hours in place, sleep plenty of juice, eat five times a day. Before I begin to do my boss in the school class, fundamentally, I want to say, know yourself. Know yourself. You see, the Bible says, you can know that God can be strong and they shall be strong. So I also want to point it in my own life. She that knows herself be strong so the first thing is that know yourself know, uncover your identity know what works for you what works for a might not work for me. like me i function best at my i function best at night i'm a night person and i enjoy it but i can go sleepless for you and it's not this but there are some people if they miss the night oh girl the next day will be scattered so I and such a person like that, we cannot be talking to you. Know your name, know your heart, and stay safe. Know what works for you, know your strength. I could remember during my investing days, my roommate, the sister of the lady, oh, I don't want to mention the name of the but one of the big principal started to They have plenty of so I know that you know that those kind of campus fellowship or kind of campus fellowships in the US, they don't have many people like Andre, I mean like 18,000. And this is this my roommate in the performance. My roommate, hey, as a girl, that's strength, as she's a power for men, me. <laughs> Thank God for some people I met that taught me that I can do I, do, I never knew I can me, I'm a one-sided person. You drink too much, you know, 
Okay, so I cannot be. I mean, I will be single. I cannot be, you know, justifying my lifestyle because of my roommate. Because my roommate can go yeah. to the go on the station tomorrow, go to the segment tomorrow, and they will feel very test tomorrow, next tomorrow. And my roommate he came out with two one. I mean, strong two one. Or eat a particular kind of snack or 
something. So no words renews it. No words re, 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 refreshes it. Some people it is music. Some people it is having siesta. Some people is watching movies. Some people is reading stories. Okay. Some people is listening to news. Just get to know what works for you. What renews you. And whenever you are stressed, when you know that your strength is getting, and you know you can turn back. Also, invest in relationship. Go work with people that are. Yes, there are some people that they can't. They don't have. They don't have this mindset. So this mindset of pulling people down, having negative. Don't think that people can't trust you. Invest in people when you think the wrong thing. And when they want to correct you, they will correct you, but they will correct you in love. There's a way they will come into your life. The way they will help you. They will go down the things you are doing. That you know, it's not, it's not bring about a negative impact for your personality, your personality. So invest in relationships in that nourishes you. Also, get support in specific affairs. Get support in domestic affairs. Have home care assistance, or a nanny, or somebody that will come in by weekends to do the same for you. If you are such a person that you out by six in the morning and you come back in the night, I will not subscribe. I will not. Suggest, I will not. That you still come back in the evening and wash your toilets. That's it. Yes. <laughs> oh, you still not cooking? I advise that you still come back. The week they're supposed to relax, enjoy your enjoy your kids. You not be scrubbing. You not be mopping. No, you may not keep the bed. You may not. You may not be the main person. Look for somebody that can come down with you and do the work for you. Okay, get support with the rest of people. There are errand girls now that can help you go to the market and get your stuff for you. Yeah? You don't have to do eight Monday to Friday. Yeah, or six to ten. Uh, to give the money to you. What was that to do? I end up to my twelve. Yeah? I say you want to go and buy tomato and pick the It's not good for you, my dear. I love you so much. That's why I'm speaking to you. Okay? So there are errand girls. There are some supermarkets around me. Maybe it's everything. But in this my area, the market that you they do online shop. You do online shopping, it's the same price of the same price on their on their shelves. It's this maybe just maybe they're talking about five hundred naira or one thousand do online shop in the supermarket, they'll bring it for you. You don't have to be the one to wear this. You don't have to get clean everything. You can batch cook your meals. Like me, I batch cook my meals. I cook my soup. Cook once in a month. It's talking. I can cook my six kind of soup. Put it in my freezer and be bringing it out one by one. I would have arranged myself and said, okay, oh, this is this weekend go. I'm closing a demand of fuck my house and do my and after that I enjoy myself for the rest of the month. How this weekend cook doesn't help. Maybe for me, oh, it can help you, but it doesn't work. You cook soup every month. It is well oh. me, I I do I'm sorry. People call it Arrange everything inside my table and put it in the freezer. As the kids are coming from the microwave, give it to them. Put this cook in the morning, cook in the afternoon, cook in the evening, cook it. Ah, yeah, no, they do. I'm just telling you what works for me. You can maybe you can do it and you may not do it. I'm just giving a live example of what I'm doing. So you can batch cook your meals. You can laundry too. Get washing machine. Do your laundry. Or if, if you need to, you can take your clothes to the people that will use them. Just try and get support for medical because for women, most of the things that places stress on us. And there's a need for us to go to work on how to go around. Okay? Also, choose an acronym of what I delegate. I mean, prioritize. Use the physical form to delegate or delete. Do delegate or delete. prioritize the things that you do that, that, that you have to do. There are some things you do. Things you delegate that you have to do. And there are some things that you delete. If you know that you cannot do it, nobody else can do it for you. That's true. That means it is not necessary. Put it on yeah. to do it. Okay? Then, what is important to work within your energy cycle? 
know your energy cycle like me when i want to do that my soup cooking i can start 3 a.m in the morning because i'm a night person i can wake up 2 a.m and say yes i want to cook for dinner i want to cook for i want to cook off from i want to cook vegetable i want to cook and i can start from 2 a.m in the morning and begin my cooking. that is when i am most I mean, that is when i have my strength that is when i can function maximally so know your energy cycle what works for you? Are you a night person? Are you an early morning person? Are you an afternoon person? When, when you discover your energy cycle, place the hardest duty, the hardest, the hardest work is at that peak energy cycle that you have discovered. And I tell you, you don't have a stress free life. Also, exercise and eat well. As a woman, we do the work, we do the work, and we eat so small. I don't eat much, but when I want to for that one meal that you are going to eat, please eat it well. And let and let your tummy know that something is bad in here. Okay? Also, take care of your emotions and have a positive mindset in your situations. Don't allow anybody to just come into the corridors of your life and make you face your So, guide your emotions. Guide things that you allow to stop. And guide things that you allow to face. And have a positive Wow, thank you so much for those wonderful points and uh, we're so relatable. Thank you for sharing so much with us. You shared your personal experience with us, which were relatable to us. That was so profound. Thank you so much, Ma. I guess so many things you talked about, even identity, even in this navigating from stress to stress. So so many people don't so many women don't know themselves. That's where the problem starts from. Like you said, you said it, they are foundational problems of creating stress for oneself. So one of the things we need to do as women, as um, young people, people ha is, is that we need to know ourselves, uncover your identity like she has said. We need to uncover our identity. If it's to take some courses, look for strength finance online to know who you are. You can even ask people. So you need to actually know yourself so that you can navigate from stress to strength. If you don't know yourself, you, you'll just be stressing yourself. You'll be You'll be working on another man's lane. That's what most, most, most people do. They like to copycat or work on other pe pe people's lane, and that's why they stress themselves. Okay, all I mean, do say she has a question. You can actually type it out, and I will read it for her. You can type it out. You are free to type it out before we wrap up for this evening. We'll be wrapping up in the next maybe two minutes. But if you have any question, you can actually type it out, and I'll read it out. And another thing she mentioned was, um, she said, know your vision. Yes, that's very important. We need to know our purpose. Why are we here on it? You know, when you know your purpose, you definitely fulfill the will of God. So that won't stress us out. Then for women that are maybe married, I know so many people are on this table. So people say, okay, washing machine does not wash clothes well. I've heard people say that. It doesn't clean clothes. I said, who? In this 21st century. Now, if you feel washing machine, can, washing machine cannot wash clothes well. Give it out to the dry cleaner to wash for you now, but still, some people will still want to do it by themselves. Claiming superwoman. God will help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> so, Allah Midu says, if you have someone that does not like being I do, so because of that, the person likes occupying herself with one or two things. I, I think I, I can get to that question. If you, if you have someone that does not like being I do, so because of that, that person likes to keep herself with one or two things. Why? You see, you know, when I was explaining the other time, I talked about my roommate in the university. Now, and I said, know your strength, okay? So as a, for this kind of a person, that means doing a lot of things is not stress to her. You know, in the beginning, we... I think the question too was all stress bad, okay? And we said no, it's not all stress that is bad. And I thought about acute stress and chronic stress. For so this person now that loves 
find ourselves in so many things. If if at a if at a point yes, she's experiencing stress, I can call that active stress because it's a stress that is serving her. Okay, it is a stress that is serving her and is enjoying it and is not having a negative bounce back on her emotions and on her physical body. Okay. Part of the definition of stress I gave earlier is that it is, it is a feeling of emotional or physical tension. When you are becoming aggressive, when you are stuck, when you are becoming choked, when, you, when there is tension around you, when you are experiencing mental overwhelm, that is stress. So if you are a kind of a person that you can walk past, there are some cases like that. It is deep and I, if I covet, I wish. I wish if they are selling it to the market, I would have bought it. Okay? There are some people, they have that strength. They can jump up and down. They can do so many things. Fine. If that is the kind of a person you are, and you have discovered that this is the kind of a person you are, then fine. You can go ahead. But the boss that gets to know the signs of the product, okay? Gets to know when those things are having a negative advancement so that eventually what is serving will not be detrimental to you eventually. But people like that, that they are, they are hope and dream, they can do so many things and to them, no stress, and that is it's fine. Thank you so much for that answer. That was so profound. Thank you so much, Ma. We we are we are very grateful. I feel so honored for honoring our invitation. Do you have anybody that has? Do we have anybody that has any question? Do you have any question? Maybe contribution before we end this meeting. Thank you so much, Coach Funke. I love your energy. <laughs> As you not giving us back to back. <laughs> <laughs> Not I everybody. I got it from you. I don't want to do it. I got it from you. You know, I've said it earlier that I'm multitask. I'm this mommy girl doing my doing my thing my way. You see, this mommy girl. But when I contacted a force, that force mm. set me in motion. Here I stop reminding me, Joe. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please let's okay. Let's put this in the comment um, comment section. Let's thank our guests for tonight for this afternoon. Apologies, I don't know why I'm saying night. Let's appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, somebody is saying, what of if there is no light for batch cooking? For those that you know, there are some light is actually a challenge for some people in Nigeria, especially people in Nigeria that we don't have twenty four hours light night. In some areas, in my area now, we don't have 24 hours light. So, cooking batch meals, hmm. say no, no for me because it will get spoiled. Except the person gets inverter. So, what do we do? What do such yeah. people do? Actually, if you know that for like, there's not a light in Lagos. As in, no light. And this is my, my area, so there's no light. I must confess, I was born in generator and I born wow. it very well. Born in I burn generator. At least my generator runs for like minimum 10 hours. Wow. That will actually this so it, 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 the minimum if I want if I want my freezer to give me the best result, minimum of supply of energy of electricity is six hours. It must at least have six hours to keep frozen. So I give minimum 10 hours. I, and do you know what the reason why I run generator is because I know those things that are there must not spoil. There are thousands of there here. It must not spoil. So I just run it. But let us not trust God for better lifestyle. Let us trust God that this will change. So, and I can say, if, if, if at a point, or if you are living in an area where you don't have a call, then don't bash you. Just do it at your own pace. God is your strength. Okay? God is your strength. But if it is, if you are living in a in an area that is <laughs> <laughs> where it is an area like, and just watch out those where there's where there's not light, when there is light, when there's, and when there's no light, go back to the normal just adjust and that that way that is. Thank you so much for that. So do we have anybody that wants to say anything again? So thank you so much once again for coming around. We are so grateful. We hope that when we call you again, you'll come back. 
So I'm super excited. Thank you. Cheers to a stress. Bye. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you so much for those that joined. We are grateful for you too. Thank you for joining. So you can actually watch this again on the page. Thank you. Bye.